We are back again for the United Sim Football Association, but we are here for the Collegiate Sim Football Alliance. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Everybody, it's been a pleasure doing all of this for you. I cannot wait to see what goes down in this one. We got CHP, Central Houston Polytechnic, taking on the Seven Sisters Academy Demons. And I can't wait to see how this one shapes up. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. Show some love to the homies. Show some love to the Discord, the forum, the community, all the good stuff. Got plenty of more things to do to get started. For this season, we're only in week two, game number two. But let's go ahead and click this play game button, getting kicked off real, real soon. And CHP, they had a win last week against East Augusta. We just seen East Augusta get the win, so obviously they want to make sure they stay on top and get the victory here today in this one. Shout out to the homies over there in Central Houston Polytechnic. Doing their thing. Shout out to everybody in the USFA, man. Y'all make it so much easier for me to do this every single day. But make sure I keep on fighting for you because y'all worth it, in my opinion. All of y'all worth it. Even the ones that haven't signed up and made their players, all y'all worth it. And look at me not doing what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and see. This is why I kind of get through early just so I can know that I can make sure that I don't mess up initially. But that's a quick fix. There's Flipping the, um, flipping the jerseys for the home team. I don't know why it does that. It's kind of glitchy sometimes, but it's all good. That's a quick fix. Not seeing anything too crazy with the equipment. Everything looks good. Everything looks bold, so I can't be too mad. I can get through it real quick, real easy. So let me just talk through, talk through it as I get everything set back up. Once again, we're in game number two for week two, and... Right now, it's the D1 versus the D2 section. Everyone loves this one. Get a good uh, beat down going on. Build the stats up. Perhaps you could see a maybe an upset or two if they get um, caught slipping. But you never know what happens until it happens. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the homies helping us out job-wise. Making sure that the rest of the league is doing what it's supposed to do. And I'll reach out to a couple of guys. We do need help. Uh, we could use all the help we could get in regards to make sure everything's running smoothly. That way we can take some stuff off of the plate, if you will. Um, and yeah, it's been a real fun experience so far running these games. Now that I got a computer that can actually run it and not fail on me and give you a whole bunch of drop frames. It's awesome now. It's definitely a much better experience, especially seeing more people into the chats. I know y'all been hating on me uh, in the beginning. Last year was kind of rough for all of us, I'm sure. Um, no one had it rougher than me. When I see the drop frames, I'm like, oh my god, here we go. But we're going to go ahead and get you all set up, ready to go on this one. The jerseys look much better this time around, so let's go ahead and flip to it. And it looks like CHP is going to send this one off to Seven Sisters Academy. We are underway. And I'm ready to get this one started. Lakshmi making this to the 30-yard line almost. And it's going to be first and 10 Demon Football on Demon Time, as they want to call it. All the young folks say Demon Time. It's going to be handoff. Vendra taking that to the left side to the 30. It's going to be gain of two on the play. And it's going to set up second and eight. Andrew taking that one, get hit in the backfield. A B Johnson making the stop and it's third down and ten. And I'll go ahead and do an introduction of the team in a little bit. Let the play run a little bit. Shiva making a juke move, but he's not getting to the first down marker. CHP gets the early stop. We'll see that offense coming pretty soon. It's going to be Deshaun Booker taking this down the right side. It's going to take it to around the 30, 35, I'm sorry. And it's going to be first and 10 Bloodhound football. Handoff is a fake. Looking for a man across the right side and no dice. It's going to be second and 10 coming up. Go. 
He's going to fake that handoff, looking for a pass. Right side is going to be caught by Isaiah Fowler for the first down. That's going to put them right over by the 30-yard line. So one play is all it took. So nice job. Three wide outs, one tight end set. Looking for a man. Left side, that's caught by Vic Dotson. Going to get around 15 on the play. And that's going to get him in the red zone, first and 10. Look for another man left side. That's Isaiah Fowler again, making first and goal moves. Let's see what happens on this next play. Third and three for four on the Dave. Sean Bridges looking real nice. It's going to be another fake of the handoff. Looking for a man. Left middle of the field and dropped. Could not tell who exactly that was, but it's going to set up second and goal. On offense, they got Sean Bridges, Cameron Frost at the running back spot, Isaiah Fowler, Brian Taylor, Chad two times. And that's going to be a touchdown for Cameron Frost. Nice play there. Getting his first touch of the day, and he's going to make use of it. A six-yard catch for the touchdown. The CHP is already on the board. The Mackiel sending this one kick is up. The kick is no good. Unfortunate there, but it's going to be a 6 to nothing lead. I'm sure they won't complain too much. But as I continue on with the offensive set, Vic Dotson, we've seen him on that catch earlier. That's a tight end. And then DeMacchio on that kick you missed, he missed is going to be the rest of the offense there. Let's talk about the defense since they're getting onto the field. Pablo Sanchez Jr. and John John leading the way for the linebacker core. And then they got John Fowler, Deshaun Booker, Mark Deshaun Champs, Gabriel Deshaun Champs, and John Carter doing their thing on the field. So it's going to be second and three after that move right there. Like it was a carry for about seven going to be a pitch and Dendra's getting smacked in the backfield. Jonathan Leonard says no to the play. It's going to be third and eight. Fish new left side. Indra taking this one. It's going to get close to the first down marker, but close does not help in this game of football. Fourth and one. And CHP is going to get this ball right back, giving it to that red hot offense on the road. But they're looking like the home team. It's going to be Deshaun Booker taking this to around the 40. And that's going to set up first and 10 for CHP. Making the handoff. Quick pass left side. Chad two times. It's going to set it up a second and six after that catch. Real good start in the passing game so far for CHP. Three wideouts, two running backs. Going to be another fake. Right side's open. Chad two times again. Makes the first man miss down the sideline to around the 30. And that's going to be first and 10. Bloodhound football moving. Six for eight on the day so far. Making the handoff. Nice pick up on the block to the right side and double coverage. He almost came down with it, but it's going to be second and 10. One tight end set. Look to the right side and no dice there. It's going to be third and 10. Making the handoff again. Right side's open. That's Taylor. He's going to get the first down yardage a little bit more. That's going to keep the chains moving for CHP. They're moving towards that... Uh, that sparking of the passing offense to start out the season. Left side's open. Isaiah Fowler gets into the end zone. That's touchdown number two for CHP. And that's going to make it a 12 to nothing game. Already in the double digits. And Macchio's trying to make up for that last one. He does just that. 13 to nothing is the score. And CHP is already looking like one of the top dogs, just like last year. We've seen last year that being the number one team does not guarantee you to win the cha national championship, but they're looking to right their wrongs this season. Lakshmi taking that to the 30. That's going to be first and 10 coming up. Indra taking that to the left side. That's going to be second and seven after the carry. Fishing taking it, fumbles the football, but Seth is going to pick that one up. Waters makes the play, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. It's going to be third and 16. 
Vishnu pass and his right side is open. Vishnu uh, Montan, no dice there on the first down. A nice game there to get him within those beginning 10 yards of that, but couldn't do too much after that. CHP is getting this ball back. The first quarter is winding down. Can he catch up to it? Yes, he does. Deshaun Booker catches it on the run, uses that speed to take it to the 45, and they're moving this ball once again. They have all the offense in the world to do something. Going to be faking the handoff here. Look to the left side. It's Fowler again. Another first down play, and that's going to end the first quarter just like that. Central, Hall Central Houston Polytechnic is on the move. Three wide out set, faking the handoff, looking for a pass play deep. And that's caught by Vic Dotson right in the bucket. Three touchdown passes here for that man right there, Sean Bridges. That's his second touchdown on the day, uh, second touchdown of the season for Vic Dotson. Already looking like the top dog for tight end of the year, two years in a row. Falco DiMacchio misses his second extra point of the day, but it's 19 to nothing. It's, uh, SSA isn't looking too pretty in regards to the defense. Lakshmi looking for a good return, trying to give their offense some juice. He gets past the 25 and not much else. And now it's going to be demon time once again. Hand off to Indra. Lost by Indra. John two times does it again. Second and 11 coming up. Vishnu hands off. Indra's going to get around a couple. It's going to be third and nine. CHP's making this look way too easy. Getting these quick stops. Pass to the right side is no good. It's going to be fourth and nine. And here you're seeing some of that passing offense here for CHP. Looking real deadly right now. It's going to be... Booker taking this one past the 40, and it's going to be first and 10 once again. CHP back onto the field. Will they look for Vic Dotson again is the question. He says, he, he says feed him the ball. Going to take a hand off. Will they go deep with it? Yes, he will. He's got Vic Dotson again. I call it like I see it. I don't know how I keep saying the name, and all of a sudden it comes up. But that's touchdown number two on the day for Big Dotson. That's fourth passing touchdowns for that man, Sean Bridges. And he's looking like he's trying to pick the single-game passing touchdown record, I believe, of three. And actually, actually, I think that was the mark that he beat right there with four. So congratulations on the day for him so far. We're only at eight minutes left in the second quarter. SSA is looking very outmatched right now. Indra looking for a lane, not finding it. It's going to be second and 10 coming up. Vishnu sending this one to the right side, caught by Indra. He's going to get past the 30 and not much further. It's going to set up third and six. And off Indra and smacked in the backfield for the loss. Jonathan Leonard says no. And there goes CHP again. How far can they take? This is the question. I don't think SSA on defense has an answer for Vic Dotson. Well, I don't think they have an answer for anything that CHP has going for them. But right now, this is a fun game if you like football and you like points. It's going to be a four wide out set here. Hit as he throws and gets it over to Shakita, gets the first down. And you might as well forget about that. Cameron Frost had that first touchdown, but missed down, missed up on that play. He's going to set up first and 20. Pass in, almost picked off off the tip. There's going to be second and 20 coming up. And off. Look across the middle and no good. It's going to set up third and 20. Thank 
Faking the handoff again, looking for a lane. Pass to the right side. Isaiah Fowler does it again. First and 10, CHP. And they're looking to get 30 before halftime. That's what their goal is. You see right there, Prashawn Bridges. Look at those stats. First and 10. Looking for a man right side and incomplete. That's going to set up second down. Looking for another pass play. Right side and no good there. It's going to set up third down. I don't think CHP is too mad at these incompletions. Like, look at those stats right there. You tell you tell the coaching staff they're really mad at him. Looking for another handoff and he's going to get sacked. It's offsides penalty. He's going to set up third down. SSA could have got off the field there, but looks to get the offsides penalty. Three wideouts. Vic Dotson wants another touchdown. He's going to pass it straight to him. He makes the catch. And, hey, if he's open, you might as well feed him. First and 10 CHP. And I'm not just saying that just because that's my player, but it's a mismatch central right now. They're looking for the left side, and that's a drop. And that's going to set up second and 10. Sean Bridges will probably be the best game we've seen from a quarterback all season. He's looking for some more points. Passing it. Left side is Fowler again. Fowler and Dotson are just biting this team up right now. He's going to set up first and goal. Going to expect another pass play here. Going to look to the left side and incomplete. It's going to set up second and goal. And we're going to be surely, surely to see uh, another set of uh, game plan when we get Cameron Frost updated. Make sure you stay active, homie. Your time is coming. Pass to the right side. And Vic Dotson, number three. Give yourself a hat trick. That is a touchdown. And CHP, wow. This offense is just looking too crazy. 138 yards on the game so far. And that's another no good extra point there. But I'm sure they're not too mad because... That man, uh, that, oh, I can't even talk right now. Wow, look, look at this offense. It's going to be sent down the field here. Is Lakshmi going to take this one to the left side? And it's going to be first and 10 from the 28. Sean Bridge is already with five passing touchdowns, and we're not even at halftime. Andrew taking this to the right side. He's going to get around four or five. And that's going to set up second down. Two minutes running. It's going to be a handoff, but Indra makes that first defender look silly. Third and three coming up. Could not quite get the first down, but hey, CHP is kind of on autopilot right now. They're just kind of like going through the motions. Handoff again, and Indra's just not getting the job done. John two times does it again. CHP stops the clock. They're trying to get another touchdown before halftime. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of rooting for them. See how far they can take this. Second quarter is running down. Booker is taking it to the 40, almost. This is going to be first and 10 Bloodhound football. Coming for blood indeed. Hashtag coming for blood in the chat. Where is Bridges going this time? Left side is no good. And that's going to be second and 10. Left side is going to be Chad two times. It's going to be an offsides penalty, but they're just going to go ahead and take the yardage there. It's going to be declined, and it's going to be third and four coming up. Got a two tight end set. Going to head off to Frost for his first carry. And that's going to be no good there. It's going to be fourth and three. Let's see what they do on this one. They're going to punt it away. At this point, they got this one in the bag. SSA is going to get this ball back, though, before the half. We're going to check these stats out. Trust and believe me. We're going to check these stats out. <laughs> First and ten here, SSA. Looking for some sort of momentum. They haven't got it. They haven't got it done offensively or defensively. Pass to the left side. It's no good. And it's going to set up second and ten. Vishnu passing this one. Right side's open. Catch is made, but the holding erases all of that goodness. It's going to be second and twenty coming up. 
and they're even closer to their own end zone, so they don't want to do anything too crazy. It's going to be Vishnu passing it. Left side caught by Indra. He's only getting a yard on the play. It's looking a little too crazy right now for SSA. Maybe a little bit over their pay grade, if you will. Third and 18 coming. Hand off up the middle, and they're only getting a couple yards. Fourth and 16. Central Houston Polytechnic calls their final timeout. And they have 52 seconds left, but how this offense is moving, I don't think they need timeouts at this current moment. Taking this one is Booker right from midfield, taking this to the right side, and he almost got past that last linebacker. It's going to be first and 10. Bridge is looking, right side's open, and the drop right there from the receiver is going to set up second and 10. You see the stats right there. That that's that says the whole story, but still got game left right side. No good. And that's going to be third down coming up. A kick from here will be around 53 yards or so. I'm sure they're looking for more than just that. Going to be Bridges looking. Right side's open and another drop. I believe that was to Frost right there. Couldn't quite get that one handled. They may have to send this one away with the punt team. Yes, they will. Maybe they could get another stop before halftime. It's going to go to around the 20-yard line or so. And it's going to be first and 10 from the 23-yard line. 23 seconds left and everything. Fish new pass in this one. Left side's open. Well, not that open. There was a couple white jerseys over there. Second and 10. Pass to the left side, caught by Samuel. This is going to be third and seven coming up. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Like, what was that about? CHP is on another level right now. 17 for 31, five touchdown passes in a half. If we did records for a half, there wouldn't be too much to talk to about that one. Sean Bridges has that one on lock at the current moment. Let's check these stats out really fast, though. John two times doing this thing with three tackles, two for a loss. Let's check out these team leaders real quick. You see right there, Fowler and Dotson both over 100 yards on the day. Both have five-plus catches. Both have at least one touchdown. Vic with three. And you see right there, Chad two times also doing his thing on defense. DeMacchio got a, a few tackles there. Sanchez getting three. John John doing three, like, it's getting a little crazy right here. Let's check the team stats really fast. You see right here, they have close to the same amount of plays, but Central Houston Polytechnic has just been taking over. And you see right there, the passing yards. Really can't beat that with a stick. So let's go ahead and get back onto the field. Looks like they're about to get ready right now. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. I'm trying to tell you. You see Vic Dots and you see... Isaiah Fowler, Sean Bridges, you could be either of those guys. You could be either even better than those guys. I don't know about Vic Dotson if you'll be better than him. He's pretty beastly, but that's besides the point. That's besides the point. Get on the field. You can make these plays. First and 10 here for CHP. They're looking for more points on the board. And he's going to launch it to the left side, and now it's almost gone. And I've seen on the right side of that um of that screen right there. They were doubling Vic Dotson. They're trying to prevent any more big plays for that guy right there. Going to be looking for a man again. Left side's open. Chad two times does it again. First and 10 CHP. And they're back into SSA territory without too much of a thought process. They're looking for another score here. Faking the handoff again. Bounces off. And that could have been caught by that, uh, that running back right there, Cameron Frost. But he was not paying attention. It's going to set up second and 10. Kind of bounced up in the air, kind of weird. But hey, it's going to be a quick pass to the right side. And that's another drop there. Could not tell who exactly that was. But that's going to be no good there. Third and 10. Faking the handoff again. Quick pass, but there was no one home. He had to get that one away just to make sure he didn't uh, fumble it or do anything crazy. It's going to be a punt. Coming up from Falco DiMacchio, he's looking to try to pin 
but he's not going to do it out the back of the end zone for the touchback. And he's going to set up first and 10 for SSA. Three wide out set for the Demons. Handoff left side. Indra makes the first man miss. He's getting past the 25. And you can give him 10 more yards thanks to G.O.D. Gabriel Oliver, Deschlon champs. That's going to move the chains there thanks to the penalty. And you see right there on the stats for D.D. Indra. Nothing going here. Pass to the left side. And that was pretty close to a catch. But no dice there. Second and 10 coming up. In the pistol, and Vishnu is going to get hit before he could think. Pablo Sanchez Jr. making the play. And that's going to set up a third and a country mile situation here. We've seen with the pass game, it hasn't been too successful. They're going to try it to the left side, and once again, no dice. And I don't think he would have got the first down even if he caught it. Fourth and 14, and CHP is going to get this ball back. Jamira sending this one away. Can he catch up to it? Yes, Booker does. Taking that back to the left side, going against the grain. He's going to set up first and 10 for the Bloodhounds. Once again, back on offense. Only had one drive, one the last one. Couldn't do too much with it. They had some big plays, but outside of that, nothing too crazy. The pass to the right side incomplete. It's going to set up second and 10. Looking to pass it. Right side's open. There goes Brian Taylor. Another pass play to the right side. They're catching them in those zones. Cannot get them off the field. It's SSA. It's going to set up a four wide out set here for CHP. Quick pass to the right. No dice once again. And it's going to set up second and 10. Surprised all these fans are still here. They're watching the beat down. Pass to the middle of the field. Brian Taylor pulls it down again inside the 25. And CHP is once again on the move. 3 for 47 on the day for Taylor. It's going to be another four wide out set. Faking the handoff. Pass it across the middle of the field. It's a little bit behind the receiver. And that's going to set up second and 10. They are in field goal range this time around. So we can expect some points. If Falco DiMacchio can knock it through or if they get the score. Quick pass to the left. That's Chad two times behind the back catch. He didn't even see the ball, but he just stuck his hands out, and the ball was right there. That's what the best quarterbacks do. Can't wait to see where he goes in the draft down the line, but we still got a little more time to see. Pass to the left side, and that should have been a touchdown, to be honest. But the pass was a little bit off the mark. I just talked about how good that pass was, and he throws that one. That's kind of part of the game. Got to keep upgrading. Second and 10. Looking for a man, but no one home. And it's going to be third and 10. Had to throw that one away. And that's the only thing about a heavy pass in offense. You're going to have those plays where you really can't do anything. And it's going to load that percentage just a tad. Pass across the middle of the field. That's a bad drop. That was right in the breadbasket. You got to haul those in. But regardless of that, CHP is going to set up for a field goal here. Inside the 15, the kick is up from DeMacchio. The kick is good from DeMacchio. And they got themselves a 35 to nothing ball game in favor of the Bloodhounds. So they wasn't able to punch it into the end zone that time around. But I'm sure they won't complain too much about getting points. First and 10 coming up for Lakshmi. Going to get this return. Lakshmi and the Demon Gang. They're going to get to the 29-yard line. And here comes the Demons. Highly doubt they'll score 35 points in the span of 15 minutes, but anything is possible, or anything is possible if you're a fan of uh, J.R. Smith. Depends on where you're looking for. Second and eight, handoff once again, and Andrew's just going to get stuffed again. John two times does it again. Number 77 doing his thing. Third and eight coming up. It's going to be Vishnu passing this one to the right side and then complete. And that's going to set up fourth down. Another play here. And that's going to set up another punt. Back to CHP. I'm sure they're looking to get his players some stats some way, somehow. Booker going to look for a man. I'm mean, looking for a lane, but does not quite find it. He'll make it to the 40-yard line almost. And that's going to set up another Set of downs for Sean Bridges and the gang. Looking to pad some more stats. 
passing this one, hit as he throws, and he did get that away just as he was getting hit. So he's not going to get the fumble, but he's going to take that pass there. Closing in on 400 yards total, one big pass play will do it. Looking for the left side, and the drop is not going to help it. Third down and 10. All he needs is a pass that's more than the first down marker, and he'll have 400 yards. Got in two wide outset, faking the handoff. Quit as he throws. McKinley going to make the catch, but that's only going to be four. That's not enough for the movement, and that's going to send this ball back to SSA. And that's going to be a nice, nice punt there inside the 10. Incubus picks it up, and that's going to be a nice pin there. First and 10 Demons. This is probably where I'll start dialing up some blitzes to see if they can get to the quarterback. But, hey, if you stop him in the backfield like Pablo Sanchez Jr. just did, then who needs to blitz? Second and 15. Send Vishnu pass to the right side. Bronin makes a juke move nice. It's going to be a flag on the play, but you might as well forget about it. Back to the three-yard line you go. And that's going to set up second and 17. Now you could definitely start thinking about pinning their ears back and start going after the quarterback. We're going to send six on the blitz. Doesn't get home, but it does force an inaccurate pass. Third and 17. Vishnu looking for another pass. That's flag on the play. And the holding is going to make it third and 19, but... They're going to go for a fourth to 17. I would have probably pinned them to the one yard line, see if they had the juice to do it. But hey, it's going to be a punt either way. It's going to be Shimera sending this one, not getting past the 40. So they're setting them up in good field position. And that's going to be Booker taking this one all the way down to the 33 yard line. Vic Dotson on the right side of the offensive line. He's looking for more. Passing it to the left side is no good. That's going to be incomplete. Second and 10 coming up. See right there, 22 for 49. So he's definitely under 50% passing at the current moment. And that's the kind of the downside for a pass-heavy uh, ball game, especially in this CSFA, where everyone's not always updated. Uh, not always updated, but not as updated as they could be. Brian Taylor does make the catch, get him inside the 20. But yes, you're going to have those, you're going to have a good amount of drops that's going to lower your uh, completion percentage. And then it also depends on how the quarterback's updated. Um, is he good enough, like in regards to getting his stats into the 70s up? You know, those all those things take factor into the completion percentage, including the weapons you have on your team. Of course, Vic Dotson gets in for number four. How does he do it? And that's going to be another touchdown pass there for Sean Bridges, number six on the game. Congrats on the accomplishment so far, sir. Kick is up. Kick is going to be good, barely. Bounces in off the uprights. But yes, 42 to nothing is the score at the current moment. And wow, CHP is on the move. Another one here, Indra taking it to the left side. He's going to get around one on the play. It's going to set up second and nine. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Indra once again, not getting too much on that one. It's going to set up third and nine. They're looking forward to score. But right now, they're just trying to save face. Hopefully, they don't give up 50. And they're going to come back and hear Curry. He may make the comeback on that one. That was a nice pass play. It's going to set up first and 10. And off the injury again to the 45 yard line, setting up second and eight. Pass 
pass to the open man, and that's a drop right there. You can't have those, especially when you're down 42 points. That's going to set up third and eight. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. CHP looking forward to knockout blow as soon as they get back on the field. And that's going to happen right after this down right here, fourth down to be exact. And we'll see what Deshaun Booker could do on the return. CHP looking forward to next looking forward to the next game of punt going behind the line of scrimmage. He keeps on snowballing for SSA. And it's going to keep on going as soon as the uh CHP gets back onto the field, looking for a fake to hand off to get it, and the pass behind the man is going to set up second and ten. Faking the handoff again. Middle of the field, Chiquita makes the catch. That's going to be inside the 25. That's going to set up first and ten. We've seen EAU. We've seen CHP. We've got two more teams left just going over to what they're going to be doing next week. Easter Goose is going to play Twin City Tech next week. And then we got CHP. They're going to be in our... Uh, Main event is going to be CHP and OCSU uh, for the final game of week three. So look forward to that. And it's going to be third and ten on this last play here. It's going to be six touchdowns on the day for Sean Bridges. Looking for seven. He's going to pass to the end zone and almost had it. That man almost got that one. That would have been number seven. But they're going to have to settle for the field goal here and make it 45. See right there, 25 for 58 on the day, 441. Kick is up and put a little bit too much mustard on that one. A little too much hot sauce, whatever you want to call it. It's going to set up first and 10 for SSA. Six minutes, 33 seconds left in his ball game. Hendra looking, juking. He's going to get past 30. He's going to set up second and four. And Hendra's hitting the backfield for the loss. There goes Jonathan Leonard once again on the moves. Third and seven. Hand off Indra, and once again, on the other side, Jonathan Leonard. He had him on the left side, got him. He had him on the right side, got him. It's going to be fourth and nine, and once again, CHP is getting his ball back. It's going to be Booker taking this one to the middle of the field, getting close to the 45. First and 10, CHP coming up. Can they get 50 is the question, but right now they've just been kind of Chilling and doing their own thing. Hand off his fake. Hit as he throws. Could not find a man to get open before he threw the ball. It's going to be second and ten. Faking the hand off again. Look for a man open. Got Chad two times right at the first down mark, and he just got past it. It's going to be four minutes, 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. CHP looks to get the victory pretty easily, faking the handoff. Pass to the left side, Vic Dotson once again. He's going to take it inside the 20. You have yourself a day, young fella. First and 10. Going to be a four wide out set here for CHP. Looking for another score, faking the handoff. It hit as he throws and almost picked off. That, was almost, that almost ruined the whole day if you get an interception. Second and 10. Going to be looking for a man somehow, some way. No dice there on that reception. Third and ten is going to set up another third down right here. Four wideouts, three to the right. Faking the handoff again. Hit his throws and you're going to find Brian Taylor for touchdown number seven. And it's going to be 48 to nothing. They're going to be looking 49 here. Can he knock it through is the question. It curves out, but it stays true. 49 to nothing is the score. Wow. Three minutes, 15 seconds left there. One more score away from 50. I'm sure they're going to be looking for it. I see a couple of we want 50, uh, we want 50 hashtags in the chat. Lakshmi taking this one to the middle of the field. And that's going to set up first and 10 coming up. They're looking for the turnover. Indra is going to get stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. He does get one. That's going to set up second and nine. See right there. If you have more rushing attempts than you have yards, then 
That's a pretty, that's a pretty big issue right there. Third and eight coming up. Hit as he throws and almost caught, but this is going to stop the clock with two minutes, two seconds left. And they're going to more than likely go for it here. Yes, they will. Once again, you see right there, only 36 yards passing. Can't do that if you want to win the game. That's incomplete, and that's going to get the ball back to CHP at the 30-yard line. Seven Sisters Academy does have all three of their timeouts. What do they do here? Frost is going to take the carry. He's going to get around five on the play, make that six. And that's going to set up second and four. Will they keep the ball on the ground? This is the question. Give it to that man. Yes, they will. Frost is going to move forward. He's going to get around one on the play. I probably recommend to run up the middle. And that should seal the deal. It's third and three. They're going to go to the right side. Frost gets close, but he's just a little bit shy. CHP is going to have enough to get into the red zone right here. And they're going to try this straight ahead kick to make 50. Can he come clutch? Yes, he does from 38. So good job all around. CHP does get 50 on the day. 52 to nothing is the score. And I'm going to go ahead and chat a little bit about the next game we have on the list. We have Twin City Tech going up against Mile High. And this one, Mile High, they got the victory last week. And they're looking to get another one here. They beat Georgetown. And they're looking to take out another one of the heavy hitters in our D2 teams, which is also called Twin City Tech. And we also have OCSU versus um, Whitehill University coming later on. So keep a lookout for those two games. We're still working through them. And pass to the left side. He's wide open. That was his biggest play of the game right there. Hikiri Hime making the moves. But it's one minute left in this one. I don't think they're going to get into the end zone. But you never know. Pass to the left side. Lakshmi getting the catch. Now, now Seven Sisters Academy wants to do something here. There's going to be another catch inside the 25. They go looking for another play. And almost picked off. That would have ruined everything for them. <laughs> that would have been bad news bears. If you want to call it that. Second and ten coming up. Vishnu looking past the right side. Shiva makes the catch. She gets the first down. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They need to go towards that end zone. Won't be mad if you get an incomplete pass. They're going to go ahead and spike the ball. And it's going to be second and ten. 18 seconds, so they probably have around two or three plays if they can get some stops too. Pass it right side, and I don't think that was the play they wanted. Third and 10 coming up. I'll probably head towards the back of that end zone right around, right around the corner. Keep it away from CHP and give your chance to score, and that's once again no good. Fourth and 10, CHP looking forward to complete shutout. One stop here will do it. Even the first down is good for them. They'll keep them at the end zone. Pass to the left side and deflected. And that is going to seal the deal for CHP getting the victory. Final score is going to be 52 to nothing. Good job all around. Seven count of seven passing touchdowns here on the day four. Sean Bridges, he was the man all game long. 28 for 64. It's just a little shy of 500 yards passing, but I'm sure he's not too mad at it. It's going to be seven touchdowns on the day. Vishnu, once again, not the greatest day, but when you're going up against a team caliber of Central Houston Polytechnic, that kind of happens sometimes. Defensively, Leonard did his thing. Seven tackles, four for a loss, and we're going to go ahead and run through these stats. Um, Cameron Frost is going to be looking forward to some better games coming soon, I'm sure. Four for 11. And on defense, it's going to be Chad two times, Isaiah Fowler and Vic Dotson leading the way. All of them making big plays, but it looked like Vic Dotson had the most between Fowler and Dotson. Good job all around. Got the four touchdowns as well. I know someone that's happy, and it's not going to be the person that's doing commentary. Just kidding. It's definitely the person that's doing commentary because that's my player. And that's what he does. Vic Dotson all the way. But, um... 
Pablo Sanchez Jr. getting a sack and eight tackles. The tackle for loss of pass deflection. And you see right here, uh, Gabriel Oliver, uh, Deshaun Champs, he's getting seven tackles. Leonard Rivera getting 10 apiece. John two times had a real good day, too. He made a lot of stops on third down. As you remember, five tackles total. And let's go through the defensive, I mean, the team stats right here. Uh, 70 total plays by Central Houston Polytechnic. Just a shout out to how good their defense has been all game long. They only rushed the ball five times. They didn't need to. They had all these passing yards. They had all these passing plays. Look at all this. They and even with five carries, they almost beat Seven Sisters Academy with their total 28 rushing plays. So it happens. Uh, two sacks on the day for Central Houston Polytechnic. No turnovers on either side. Pretty clean in regards to turnovers. Um, but we're going to check the stats right here. Once again, go through the receptions here. Bauer had a lot of targets here. Bauer and Chad, they led the targets. And then you had Vic Dotson. You almost had 10 as well. Taylor had eight. Um, see right here, Frost had, had like five as well. So he would definitely be used in the passing game, as you can see, defensively. Uh, let's see what we got here. Sanchez, like we said, um, Checking down the list, see who else is here. John Carter got two tackles. Looks like Vic Dotson had a tackle. I don't know how he did that. But hey, I'll take it. Uh, Mark San uh, Mark Deshlon Chance. Uh, I almost called him Mark Sanchez. I'm sorry. Mark Deshlon Chance. He had uh, one tackle. And see Brian Taylor Peters also getting in the mix. Deshaun Booker had a tackle. And let me see. I think that's about it. John Fowler had two. Um, Demacchio also had five. I don't know how. Um, probably need to check that with the staff over at Axis. Also, shout out to the Axis football team doing their thing. I did not say that earlier. Um, but I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. We're done with game number two. We're going to go ahead and see what TCT and MHU got cooking. We're going to get to that game pretty soon. So stay tuned, and I'll go ahead and see you in the next one.